Jennifer Aniston looked flawless as she stepped out in a black t-shirt and green military pants after an appointment in Beverly Hills on Thursday. Following her visit to a posh skincare clinic, the French star rocked a white leather shoulder bag and N95 face mask amid the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Looking relaxed from the midweek pampering session, she rocked a fresh pedicure and bouncy blowout with soft curls while walking back to her car. She warded off the California rays with a pair of designer shades over her blue eyes as she soaked up the pleasantly warm weather. You're looking for words, you're looking for words To make things right tonight You're standing at my door, you're standing at my door I can't hide what feels so right on my life With you by my side Temperatures rising up tonight We will touch the sky, we were born to fly Tons out and comes after she attended her best friend Courtney Cox's star-studded 4th of July party on Sunday. Cox shared a selfie with Aniston and Lisa Kudrow against the backdrop of a scenic beach photo and large windows opening onto a tennis court. Happy 4th! Zoxo, Cox captioned her post as Aniston placed one hand on the back of her tussled blonde tresses. The leading ladies were catapulted to stardom when their hit sitcom Friends premiered in September 1994. The three, along with their male co-stars David Schwimmer, Matthew Perry and Matt LeBlanc, became overnight sensations around the world. The sitcom ran for 10 seasons, ending in May 2004. For the last two seasons, the cast negotiated a fee of $1 million per episode and that made Cox, Kudrow and Aniston the highest paid women on TV ever at the time. The six stars recently got back together on screen for the highly anticipated Friends reunion show on HBO Max released at the end of May. Reflecting on the one-off special in an interview with Harper's Bazaar published Friday, Aniston observed, Oh, it was full of emotions. It was a roller coaster of emotions. It was incredible. They're such family, and they're so embedded in my heart till the day I die. That was what was so special.